Okay. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bakakwadash. And double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, out there that push this word in truth and in sincerity. Amen. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. And um, you know how we do. We get straight into the scriptures. You know? So without further ado, I'm going to get into these scriptures. And Abu Ratazayu Akimah, they will be edified. This is Psalm chapter 50, verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. See, the Most High saying, gather my saints together unto me. And how is he going to be, and how is the saints of the Most High, starting with the elect, going to be gathered together in that time, when Yahweh shall crack them skies. With the holy angels with them, bringing death, destruction, and deliverance. Death and destruction to Esau, the so-called white man, the other nations, and two-thirds of you wicked-ass Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that got your head stuck so far up Esau's ass, or you smell his shit and in intestines. But to the saints, they're going to be gathered together to Yah unto Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah in them chariots, man. Because they are the elect, the 144,000, the governing body, the tabernacles of David. The chosen vessels, man, that's going to, that's going to be, like, a, that's going to be the, um, the governing body of the nation of Israel, man. The first rulers. With Yahweh Shah. So I'm going to read it again. Psalm chapter 50 verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Meaning. The saints starting with the elect is being gathered and binged up in them chariots, man. When Yahweh Shah cracking them skies. Bringing death, destruction, and deliverance. Like I stated a few seconds ago. And at the same time. Them, them missiles. Them ICBM. Hypersonic. Supersonic. Missiles going to be shot off. From that, from, that, from that assembly of great nations, man. Started with Russia and China and Iran. Even the American counterparts, their the own allies, such as Great Britain, France, and Germany, they themselves are going to shoot missiles off, man. While Yahweh Shah is gathering the saints of the Most High, the saints of Israel, unto the Most High, man. It says, Back in Psalm 50, verse um, 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And that covenant is, is, an, is an agreement, man. And the 144,000, the one-third of the hopeful elect, definitely made a covenant with the Most High and a sacrifice, man. Because every Saturday, we out there in the highways and the byways, we all know that Saturdays is the day of the world. And certain brothers that can make it out there on Saturday, I'm saying on, on, on Thursday camp, that's also another sacrifice, man, because they come from work to the camp. And if I didn't have to work late on Thursdays, I myself would be out there. But sometimes I get off work at 8 o'clock and it don't make sense for me to go out there. But you put your videos up, your three videos a week, you go out there in the harbors and the byways. You forsake this world. So that's a covenant by a sacrifice, man. Sacrificing your life in this society, man. Totally devoting your, your life to your Hava Wai, your Hava Shah, man. That's a sacrifice a man of the Lord is going to make. A man of the Lord is going to do the things that he's required to do. Like I said a couple of seconds ago, going out there in the hours and the Bible is in season, out of season, putting up videos throughout the week. You know? Observing the high holy days, observing the Sabbath, not committing adultery, forsaking all wickedness, man. Not indulging yourselves. In the cares of this world, man. 
those are the ones which are the elect, the saints of the Most High. The saints starting with the elect, they have made a covenant by sacrifice. That agreement by sacrifice. What's that sacrifice? Forsaking this world, going out there in the harbors and the byways, and doing that which was commanded for us to do. And it's a great reward behind all that sacrifice, man. Forsaking this world. Your woman coming up against you. She probably leave you. That's a part of that sacrifice. You may lose your job. That's a part of that sacrifice. You're going to lose your friends, definitely. Your family going to come up against you. That's a part of that sacrifice. You may lose contact with your daughter or your son. That's a part of that sacrifice. But we know we're going to be, we're going to be rewarded in the kingdom. Because we're doing the work of the Most High. If we are part of the hopeful elect, man. If we are part of the elect, we're going to receive that reward, that reward, man, that was promised to us. So with that, I hope you Akimati was edified. This is a great millstone to the point. And once again, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations you Akim out there that push this world truthfully and in sincerity, man. Shalom.